G'day legends, we're back. Week two of our seven weeks to Chrissy. We've nailed it this week I reckon. So this week, we're gonna show you how to install our strut kit for the next gen Ranger and Everest. Um, by the time you see this, it'll obviously be launched on the webpage. Right now it's not. This is our original prototype bracket, so we can actually pull these off and put the real deal on. So I'll go ahead and show you what you're gonna to need to do the job. If you're like me and lazy, we need to get ourselves a little bit of electric power. Um, We've got a, what have we got on this one? A 10mm socket, an 8mm socket, nice little flat blade screwy, always goes well. 13mm socket and a 13mm spanner. Now, not perfect, so I've probably forgotten some tools, but I'm sure we'll figure it out along the way. Now, what else you'll get in the kit is you're gonna get, if you brought the stack kit, you're gonna get the aerial bracket, the bonnet aerial, which ours is obviously over here. Um, you're gonna get the bonnet aerial bracket, which will come with the extra little tab which will put on your um, ball joints. Now, if you brought just the strap kit, you're gonna get two of these little brackets. You'll get two of these, and you'll get two bolts that I'll show you where they go later, but they replace some bolts in the guards. And of course, you won't get this, but cheers guys, yo! Rumbos today, we're back on the rumbos. Later on we might change. Right, eh? We'll start with the really crap side first. This is the really, really crap side, it's terrible. So we'll start with this one first. Definitely takes a couple of beers to get through this one. So we've got to pull off this accessories fuse sort of junction box thingy here. Now if you've already got the wiring harness, probably should pull that off first because the, um, that thing, the relay gets in the way and that's on super bloody tight. We'll get something else we need. Yeah, buddy. Should move this out of the way and make life just that little bit easier. Put them up there, I'll forget where they are later, for sure. I'll probably forget to put that back on. All right, put him over there out of the way. So we've got a couple of tabs in here, <clears throat> at the front and back, and I think the rear there, front there. So yep, there we go, and one up here, the back corner. Another one somewhere else. There we go. We got him. So first step, pull this cover off. Throw him over there out the way. <clears throat> now we've got three bolts in here. So I believe these are 8mm. Let's see if I'm right. Jeez, I'm, I'm well off here. We actually need a 7mm. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. So we're going to remove these three bolts entirely and they're long and they're painful and they're annoying. But... Alice is going to speed this up because he's a legend and we'll put While I'm doing this selfless plug AP media look him up he goes right on Alistair. It's the man holding the camera you can't see him <laughs> Oh thanks mate yeah you go right eh See he's the man <laughs> Ford, if you're watching, come on, mate. These bolts are too long. <laughs> right, our next step, we'll get our 13mm socket. Trusty Radley, because I'm lazy. Put that bad boy on, put him in reverse, and we're gonna get. Yeah. See that little trick shot there? Did you get it, other stuff? Got it. Yeah. Pro tip. <laughs> There's some extra clips in here that are quite painful that we've got to get up to get these bits off. If you look down on this one, <clears throat> you'll see a um, there's a clip just in the inside here. So you've got to pop that clip off on this end, and then you can pull this off out the way. On this one's the same. There's another one just here. So just peel that one back, pop that one off as well. <clears throat> now, this should free, I can't remember exactly what we did here, but we did it. Get that bit off. Right, eh? So, this is the real sh You can, oh, you know what, you can get beep, beep. Be. Yeah, be, yeah. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. So this is the real beep, beep, beep part. It's really, really crap. And, uh, this is why you need the rumbo. So, we have a clip here. We have another clip here. 
We have another one at this back corner here. It's a bit hard for you to see on the camera. Another one here just in front of this bolt. Another one, here. where'd he go? There he is, another one about here. And then that's all of them. So, you need to get all these clips out. Otherwise, it's gonna give you hell. Like it just did me for half an hour that Alice just edited it out. <laughs> all right, so we get that one off. So we're gonna do, put the screwdriver in, and then we simply just peel that back a bit, give it a little yank so he comes out. Same up here on this one, yank that one. And then at the back here, there's one in the corner here. To pull that up, yep. And then there's another one here. Get that one up. And then there's one. I can get into it. That's here. There we go. And it frees it up. Right. So now we've done this. We're moving on. Ta-da! It just comes out just like that. Oh, put that over there as well. Now the whole purpose for that terrible exercise was to get my rattle gun. Oh, oh! There's a dog. Oh, he nearly got him. <laughs> Wait, now just another quick infomercial. Crocs and Santa socks. Yes. Crocs and Santa socks today with the Santa hat. Don't know what next week will be. <laughs> Alright, what have we got next? So, everybody else will have this. Holding the bonnet up. I obviously had struts there, so I need to pull the struts off with my screwdriver. Before I um, go any further. Now, just in case I don't know how to pull one of these struts off, screwdriver, straight in under there, just pull that back, pop, straight off. Doink. Done, put them up there. All right, so the whole purpose for this exercise was we need to get this bolt out here. Now, it's been mentioned to me, by someone on our Facebook page. Thank you, I think his name is Adrian. This bolt has to be a minimum of 30 newton meters tightened back up. But what we do is we do a couple of ducker duckers. This bad boy is good for, oh, I'm gonna say 200 newton meters. A couple of ducker duckers from this one. She's all good, she won't come off. Right -o. But if you snap the bolt, that's on you. All right, pull that off. We're gonna put the real ones on. So when you get our brackets, these ones here, these will be assembled. We'll have a ball joint on there for you in the correct position. This is just, you wanna change it a little bit. What's that you got going on there, Alistair? <laughs> She's 30 degrees today, bit of a refreshment. Right, eh? So, this bad boy. <clears throat> Righto guys, so we've got our bracket, we've put our bolt in, this one goes obviously in here. This is the whole purpose of getting that, this crazy thing off. So this other bolt that we supply with the nut, you've, I've already pulled this out, but you pull this bolt out here, and we start that one in here. So what I do is, we screw this one down a little bit, so I can feel the um, thread coming out. A bit of a pro tip here, because we've just had three takes, and you'll see at the end of this clip, that like this. We then put this on here like that. We can hang it out there. So we can actually get our fingers in here. Yeah. And we just hold that under the thread. And we screw it down to start it. <clears throat> and we then want to do it up as far as we can. So the trick here is, what I'll do is I'll back it off so it starts to take up with just the bolt. So I'm sneaky. And then, and then we just do this, ratchet your bottom, we can get it most of the way down this way. It'll take up, unless you're not trying to fight a knot like nut, all the way under there, like quarter turn. Look at that, it's almost done. We'll rattle that one back up. Rattle gun. Now, 30 Newton meters is the rule. Or a couple of ducka ducka. Yeah! <laughs> Lucky we didn't break that off. Yep, that's beautiful. So we're on there now, nice and tight. So don't forget, when you put this bolt in, we just want to push the bracket up onto here, hold the nut up against it and just back the bolt out. 
so it's all sort of up hard there touching because there's a captive nut under here as well so we can just tighten that down happy days nice little trick pro tip not a pro baller maker not a mechanic mechanics out there no judging <laughs> all right so we'll put this bad boy back that's it for there eh? yep so we'll drop this bad boy back in here now you can't really stuff this up by the way i was putting things in the bolts because just like putting a plug in it's kind of just all drops back in so we drop that in line everything up get it back in drop it in make sure the clips are in yep beautiful then we put don't forget this little one here it goes back over first and you're gonna line him up with these little clips which I believe I have. Yep, he's clipped in. Then this big one, closest to the front, we put him on first, but it's a bit painful because you've got to get him in his little slot. And then, clip. Oh, that's beautiful. Now we swap this back from the 10 mil to the 7 mil, which is right here. And we do this long ass process. Thank you, Ford. I love this part. Ah. Right, so just make sure these are firm. Um, obviously, I want to over tighten because it's plastic, so I don't get a real big ass ratchet in it. Just nice little one, nice and firm, two fingers. Out. Oh man, scratch the wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Right, eh? Don't forget this bad boy. Now this one goes back in here. Don't forget to put the plate back on. Nut. Nut. Now I recommend while we're talking about this, I recommend before you take this off, you disconnect the battery. Positive, negative, disconnect the battery completely because there is still power in here. Obviously. We don't want to be blowing up ECUs and shorting things out, so just disconnect that and happy days, just so we don't have any problems with it. Um, 13 mil, here we go. Tighten the ducker duckers again. If you don't have a longer socket, put the socket on first, and then you put the thingy in. Ah, oh, look at that. Socket on first. I'm letting all my MacGyver tips out here. Right, so we've done that. We put this bad boy back on, covering back up. Mate, that is absolutely wonderful. So that's the really worst part of this. It probably takes another, from here, like that there's probably a 10 minute job. From here, it's probably another 10 minutes to finish the kit off. It's bugger all, it's pretty easy from here on out. So, we will get the 13 mil. You know what, I'm gonna use a rattle gun, because I'm lazy. If you've got a friend around, I recommend when you get to this stage, maybe get him to help you. Mrs, kids, dog, cat, whatever. Get him to help you. And we'll just swap this out quickly, swap our ball joint out. One of the important things to note here is, see this? See how you can see where the bracket's been sitting? So when you do this back up, I'll show you now so it's easier to show you now to put the bracket on. Make sure that's lined back up with that paint mark. So it's beautiful like that. Otherwise your bonnet's gonna have Uneven gaps, it may not close properly, it'll just, it won't look anywhere near as good. I've touched on that before um, with one of our other videos with the uh, aerial brackets, but I thought I'd just show you guys again. If you're running a stack bracket, and we just line up the holes, there they are. Boink. Line them up. Put them on like so. Get him started. Right, a couple of duck and duckers, straighten him up. Well, hey! He ripped out the bonnet. Look at that. Solid! So, oh, get in here. Strut we had earlier. Everything's good, tighten that back up. Now we get the strut that we've obviously already supplied. Strut's gonna go this way down. You'll see on the strut, it's got an arrow here and it says, up when closed. So, arrow pointing up on there. Doink, so when they close, it's kind of facing up basically. And that just helps the oil sit nicely in there and it doesn't 
when they're the other way, the oil runs the wrong way and they end up flogging out too quick. Um, little plug for our mates over at Strut Regas Brisbane. Strut Regas, give them a look up. Um, we can supply you new struts as well, but if you're in a Brizzy area around Sydney, I think they do some work. They um, can supply new struts as well. Same price at weekend, so happy days. With the bonnet, we before we put them on, we just want to go and do the old trick of pop this up. So we don't have to fight the actual, so we don't have to fight the bonnet and the strut to get it on. We just pop that out, lift him up, get him where he's got to go, up, down, wherever, line him up, and, oh God, made this look hard, there we go, and on. So, start with the passenger side, just so you can pop that out, hold the bonnet up, boink, line him up. That way you don't have to fight with everything to get it to work. Right, hey, let's go over to the easy side, now the driver's side. Right, hey, driver's side, so, on the driver's side, same deal, we've got to get this bolt out. The overflow bottle's in the way, so we're going to pull the overflow bottle out. So we've got a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt down here. So we undo that, and we can just, these are just flexi hoses. Move it to the side, pull your bolt out, happy days. This one's very, very easy. So let's go, let's get started. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, of course. Yep, beautiful. Right, oh. So nice and easy. Let's give it a little wiggle. Now you'll notice in here, if you zoom over here, you'll see there's a bit of a there's a difference between the height of under here and the height on top of here. So it actually sort of just clamps over that edge there. So when you go to get it off, the first time I took this bottle off, it was a bit of a pain. So you gotta give it a bit of a wriggle and a bit of a pull, you know. It'll take a little bit of brute force, but you'll get it. I'm gonna sit him over here to the side out of my way. Clear access to my bolt now. I'll grab my 13 mil, swap him over. Cut the ducker duckers to get him off. Oh, it's gonna be a bit Right, I say so just another tip. After you've done the passenger side, make sure you put the bar back in because one strut isn't really enough. Well, it is, but just in case. The other day, it kind of slowly came down at one point, so I don't want you to land on your head. 10 mil right so we're going to back this to the guard bolt all the same, we're going to back off. So if you look here, you've got a guard bolt here, number one, number two. There's only three on here, so you want to get the middle one. Alright, so, we obviously got this here now, a bracket, what I showed you earlier. The one thing I didn't show you on the last one, I did forget to put it on, so I'm going to go back and put it on. A washer. Now it's very important this washer goes on the top of the bolt because if it doesn't, it's not going to fit in this little spotty of the square captive nut. So you put the washer on first, bolt, and we'll start the bolt. Get him started. Get him poking through there, beautiful. Same trick as before with the other side. I'll feed this one in. Well this side's a bit <laughs> Beautiful. Same trick, winding back out so the nut touches the bracket. Like so, we'll get him up there. And then we can bloody. We've got that one started, beautiful. And also remember, this wire here, very important. There's a little washout, like a little crevice here for it to sit in. Make sure it's sitting in that crevice there before you actually tighten this up. You don't want to pinch this wire. So when you're done, make sure you haven't pinched it. 10 mil. 10 mil on. Ducker duck is the right way. Waterfall, we get enough out of it. Not quite. So, give it a little wriggle. Right, eight. Then we know we just got to go a little bit further on this one. Tighten this bolt back up. 30 newton meters. Um, where are we at now? That was good that day. Eh? Yep. So then just double check that. Make sure you double check the wires all nice and free and not jammed up. Then we need to do the bonnet. So this one, you need to be very careful. So it doesn't have a thing holding up on this side. We bloody 
hold that back up like we did in the last one. Pull that nut back off. Put that bad boy on. And do this one back up. Don't forget, line the bonnet up with the uh, with the discoloration of the paint again. Now, I don't have another nut <laughs> because I dropped that one. And uh, this is like a bottomless pit, this car. It's gone. Did not make it to the ground and it has, we've just spent like I reckon 30 minutes looking for it and uh, can't find it so I'm gonna have to get another nut. But anyways, it's gonna do for this. For all of you watching, please sponsor me a new nut. <laughs> right on again. Up arrow to the top. Clip that bad boy on. Clip that one on. Job done. Right on guys, so now we've done this. Got everything bolted on, everything's beautiful. Now don't forget to put the overflow because <laughs> I just did. Righto, so we jam him back on the way he come off. This bit over top, those bits underneath. Get him back in there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. This lines up. Beautiful. Grab our bolts. Beautiful. Righto, so if you brought the stacked aerial, We've got to obviously put the aerial on now if you've already got an aerial on. So we undo that one. We undo this bad boy. 19mm spanner for the GME aerial. Not sure what a unit it is, but I've got a I've actually got a hybrid aerial if you haven't seen. I've got a GME unit and hybrid aerial. Now we um it's quite an ironic. I'm not sure who put what into what parts. I think Unit just supplied the sticker. <laughs> but uh, that's a good old stitch up from the boys over at uh, Ipswich City Auto Electrical. They go right. Uh, yep. Get that one off. So we feed this bad boy back out here. So now around here, pop that in, drop that down. Ha ha ha! We got a bonnet aerial. Now one of the cool kids again. <laughs> make sure, you, make sure you need a sticker points to the front so everyone can see it, because. I'll tell you what, you need, I'll give you one thing. This sticker is that good that I can't get it off, so it gets to stay there now. <laughs> Thanks, boys. <laughs> right, oh, so last step, get to see how the product works. We'll show you why we do a strut kit. It might be a little bit old, get a little walking stick, or you might be a few beers, and oh, I can't bother lifting it. So, I'll show you how we do it. Under, grab your lever, boom. That easy. Bonnet goes up, you can access it, do whatever you need to do, check your oils, whatever you need to do. Grab it, boom, job done. Righto guys, hopefully you like this, make sure you subscribe to us, like the video, all that, all that bullshit. Um, <laughs> we're gonna leave a link down the bottom so you can go to, straight to the website and buy the, buy the product. Um, thank you for all the support, we're going well. PirateCampground.com.au, merch, no Santa hat included, but hey. Next week, Saturday 6 p.m., we've got the third product coming out every night till Christmas Eve. You. What do you reckon? G'day legends. <laughs> What have we got now? Hello! Yeah. Hey! G'day legends! <laughs> Are you filming this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, f***ing hell. <laughs> That's two! <laughs> oh, now I can't get it back. So, lucky for me, unlucky for you, I have a box of nuts. So I can drop these things all day. But, um, yeah, you really need to prepare yourself to put this nut on. It's quite painful. All right, let's have another go. Oh, it's not, sorry. Uh-oh! <laughs> so, righto. Beep! It's a, uh, it's a 10 mil. <laughs> so, let's go, let's get started. My socket selection today has not been very good, I'm not going to lie. So it's a 7mm. This side. Cool. You don't want to do that. Hmm. I think I lost the nut. It is. Bloody. Ta da!
That's simple. Nice and easy. Up and hey! We'll delete that one, we'll try again. <laughs> no. We got it? Yeah, we got them all. Yeah. Cool. Did that work? Is that good enough?